Alright. So, Destiny, much like the world, needs money to do basically anything. Like, due to the recent changes on crafting and target focusing on the vendors, Glimmer has become like a key currency in a most like everything. And today, I'm running my own experiment based on my personal experience and how to get best Glimmer. And honestly, just how to get Glimmer in an easy way that is comfortable for you. You do not have to go out of your way to do some hardcore farming. For our experiment, I'm gonna put also a crafted weapon, newly minted. I haven't used it once. Now, usually the best place is DDZ. There's almost always a public event going on. In the first part of the experiment, I'm gonna be running no glimmer uh, help. And let's see if I can get like a public event that is not heroic for us to say how much difference you get from heroic and unheroic. If it is the, the Cabal one, the probability of us simply not getting a heroic is injection rig fantastic. In we have sightings of Red Legion infiltrators on their way. <laughs> I'll promise not to try and sabotage anybody, so if we do get uh, a heroic, then we're gonna put the data in. Chase them out. They think they'll spy on my territory. Okay. Huh. Nobody's trying to make a hurry. Fantastic. So you see in the corner that I am getting glimmer from killing enemies, and this is normal. You you get them passively. So even if you do have like the gains of uh, nightfall, you're still getting glimmer from like doing everything, basically in the game. But it's a pitiful amount of glimmer. But I'm so sorry, but I don't think your primary is gonna cut it. Are you? Damn. Oh, you did it, bud. Okay. This is the boss. One thing, very important, the glimmer you get from public event comes from the chest. We got 4,500 yeah, from a normal public event with, tails tucked? with well no mods. Done. Now, let's see how much XP that got to our grenade launcher. That got us 9% on the grenade launcher. Now, we're gonna go to try to get a heroic one. Heroic is easier. Let's do on the outskirts. There's less people doing there. So I feel like if we can get like one that is more annoying or is faster to do, I can try to run the, the base one without the uh, XP. 
it with the XP mods. Actually, I like to already move the the ghost. So like you can put this is this ghost. This one with no mods. <laughs> oh, starting right now. All forces in the field. A catch has been reported en route to an ether drop. This one is the fallen one. No, is the eater resupply. So is the the big fallen walker. No, what? Falls. Oh, Acting my like mistake. Sorry. Take down that servitor and they stop. Okay, let me remove the mods then because we'll be doing a heroic one. This is the second public event I've done with this blueberry. I don't wanna screw them out of glimmer. Okay, so the Heroic Public event gives you 12.50. Let's put it at 12.50. Winding Cove, this this is 100% beginning to do the, the Heroic one. So I'm putting the mod with most glimmer. That is, ladder. like, if you're putting the mod I for most for glimmer, you should put the one that gives you 60% as well. 65% because why the hell not? Also, and our crafted weapon hey, you. went Clear to up. 21. 21 plus to minus armed. 9. That is... That's a very good question, me. Can I make math? 21 minus 9 is... 12! 12%. 12%! So you get 12% for a heroic public event. And for a normal event you get 9. There's usually like a bunch of people in the Winding Cove is the one with the... Okay, nope, nope, no picking up that, so I did not screw up my map. The Winding Cove is usually one of the best ones for you to come because there's a landing zone right here. Oh, it's there. We 
got that shot. It's a black eye for them. Oh man, I shouldn't have to pick it up that time. Now, from a hero, public event. I heard Let's see, with the here. mods. What was that? Oh, just us taking out a mining lander, a ship, 1400. And a As you do. 14,000 and 500. I'm so sorry, sir, but but this one is on you. I've come to fuck all nowhere to try to do a non-public event, heroic, a public event, non-heroic, and not helping. I'm so sorry, but you are in the dreaming city. This is where dreams literally come to die. Ah, oh, gee, I saw Berkey. Then again, making so much glimmer just by shooting this. Ah, I'm not picking up that. That's a Corsair thing. I don't wanna. Technically, to make this event category, you need to shoot the, the big game play. But, again, not making this heroic. Right. Neither is teammate. Great, I don't have to feel guilty. Wow, I forgot how long the public event is. Things I do for women. Thing is, I also do not want the event to fail. Okay, Minty is taking bring an orb back to us, which is great. Minty, thank you. Man, Dreaming City was so crushing when it came out. This is where the place I came to die. And fail some some jumping puzzles in the dark. I'm not picking up Corsair, so don't even think about it. I have done all the Corsair, like the SOS for the Corsair before for a, for a, for a Triumph, but I'm not doing that again, they're very confusing. You have to go literally looking for the this one beacon noise, that you also have to know where they are. It's maddening. I'm very sorry for the Corsairs, but... I feel like if anything, Marasov would understand. 
I'm picking up one ball though because again do not want the event to fail. has been one of the most annoying events since the beginning for me at least. I do not understand it, it's annoying. I remember the boss for this public event used to be very overpowered in the beginning. Event complete. I have the 65% mod. Let's see how much I get. 6,000. 6,000. Gonna do, go do one strike for the sake of clarity. Osiris, you were like Anastasia. Oh my god, and this is like a, a little power. gift I for myself. Was. Okay. 300, 3,500 and yet I see the with mod and we actually leveled up the grenade launcher it was at 66 it went to 100 now we're gonna do we're doing one more with zero to see how much it is exactly I'll let Zavala know of your exemplary work here. The Cabal will be feeling this loss for a while. 2,400. Without the mods. Now let me see the grenade launcher. That's 35%. Yeah, they were farming numbers. Alright. First ones. Oh my god. Public events. Normal. Heroic. Normal. With mods. Heroic. With mods. For normal on public events, we were getting something around 4,500. I'm gonna bring it down to 4,000 so we can like oh, low ball it so we have like a, a better estimate because I feel like those, the second part fluctuates a bit. Heroic was. 12,000 Normal with mods and the mod in question is the 65% For normal we had 6,000 I'm gonna bring it back to 5,500 No, actually, this was already me low balling it. Sorry So this one should be 500 it yeah. you're awake 500 
Heroic with the 65% mods is 14,000. Now, for strikes. I'm going to call this base. Like, the base amount of glimmer you would get from a strike is... 2,400. And with mods, you will be getting like 3,500. If you have a maximum of... Now, I need to do math. Damn, where's my calculator? Where's my calculator? Let me see... Because, like, the maximum number of brightest that you can hold is 250,000 so to max out in 250,000 with normal public events so let's do like that's basically 55 normal public events now for heroic that's 20 20 public events With mods. So now the normal one with mods is... Forty-one public events. For the heroic with mods, we have fourteen thousand. That's seventeen. Honestly, I'm gonna round it up to eighteen. For strikes, you will need to do two point five, a hundred and six strikes, a hundred and four base strikes. For the with the mods, is what seriously seventy one? All right, seventy one strikes with mods. Now, there is the second part of this. It's how much XP you get from a crafted weapon. Because I was also testing that. 
before a normal public event. Weapon crafting, XP. We were getting 9%. For heroic. For heroic, we were getting 12%. And with strikes, we were getting a solid 35%. In a, in a way, you could be doing free strikes because like this is 35% and if you do like one kill here and there. This is like the base numbers without you doing a single kill with those weapons. So this is just like the completion uh, the completion a percentage for the crafted weapons. Strikes are way more rewarding. Free strikes can get you one level you're doing a kill here and there but if you do five hero hero public events you will be getting basically st stop it being able to do math for a second Let's see the base. The base actually. Well, let's do with the base. If you do five heroic public events without the mods, you will be getting sixty-two thousand brightness. If you do it with the mods. You'll be getting 70. And by that, you will be getting one level. So basically, if you do a public event, if you do five public events, you'll be getting one level of your crafted weapon and 70 bright dust. 60 to 70 bright dust. Solid. This is basically the best farm you can do for yourself. Uh, let's do the shotgun over here. Level 10, everything is unlocked. And we're gonna be changing each aspect of it. Miche. Shotgun. If we change the barrel, that's already 2500 glimmer. Magazine. 5,000 5, now. A perk. 10,000. And three legendary shirt. No, three enhancement cores. Another perk. So, like, if you change everything, you have a cost of 25,006 enhancement cores. Now, if I want to also master work this. Suddenly, my cost goes up to 36 Glimmer, 27 Legendary Shards, and 23 Enhancement Cores. So technically, if you do the, like, 5 public events, you get 1 level, and you get enough money to do a change, do, do a full change into your weapon. This proves to be the, like the best farm. It's the easiest you can do with ever set with whichever setup that you have. There's always a public event on the EDZ. Like there are different public events for you to be doing there. There are so many options that you can be doing your public events in whichever order you want. 
there are there are optimal like routes for you to do yes but that's something you learn by doing them i could like potentially show you but you by yourself will see like i do not like doing the take and blight so you take that out of your rotation i do not like the not doing the the cabal injection rig because i feel like it's very hard for me to go heroic and i could be doing something else you take that out of your thing and you can also be running uh da -da 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 -da. Yeah, let me see. The maximum amount of glimmer that you could possibly be getting, which is 65. And also for enhanced resource detector. Because that gives you glimmer as well. So you're topping it off. Like each thing is around four, 400 glimmer you're topping off your level of glimmer you have the patrols you could be doing that also glimmer you have heroic like some the, the the high valley targets that also something for your glimmer so during public events especially on the adz where you have so many landing zones is the best for yourself look there is one in the gulch happening right now. There is one about to happen in the, the sludge. There is one about to happen in, in, the, in the sunken isles. It's pretty rare for you to not have one happening. And even when you do, it's such a small window that if you take a look again, another one is there. You can go quickly inside the lost sectors because this area on the ADZ, it's not... There's no light level. There's no power level. So you can take whichever weapon you want to level up whichever weapon you want to test whichever build you want to like just have fun with and you can go inside any public event any lost sector and you can be comfortable because you ha you are a level above them and even if in a future season in which they would be at level with you this is still comfortable because everything is at level and i feel like that's it 